Welcome to Infigan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting integration of rational function. It is x square plus 1 times x square plus 2 over x square plus 3 times x square plus 4 dx. So let's get started by considering this rational function as p and the integration I will consider i. So ultimately, we have to integrate p dx. Now I will write separately our rational function p. So p will be equal to x square plus 1 times x square plus 2 over x square plus 3 times x square plus 4. Now let us consider x square is equal to a. So this p will become a plus 1 times a plus 2 over a plus 3 times a plus 4. Now degree of numerator and degree of denominator is same. So I will frame first multiplication I will consider. So a plus 1 times a plus 2. Let me write here a square plus a plus 2a plus 2. Multiplication of both the brackets from numerator. Now multiplication in denominator, a square plus 3a plus 4a plus 12. So I will be writing here, overall it is a square plus 3a plus 2 in the numerator. In the denominator we can write a square plus 7a plus 12. Now can we write our numerator in terms of denominator? Yes, we can write a square plus 7a plus 12. First write your denominator. Now compensate it. So I need to write over there minus 4a. 7a minus 4a is 3a. Now 2 is required. So I need to write over there minus 10. Divided by a square plus 7a plus 12. Now let me write our numerator in the split form. So I can write p is equal to a square minus 7a plus 12 minus if I will take common then in bracket it is 4a plus 10. Overall denominator is a square plus 7a plus 12. Now I will split. So I will write a square plus 7a plus 12 over a square plus 7a plus 12 minus 4a plus 10 over the same denominator a square plus 7a plus 12. Now you can see here we will have 1. So ultimately p is converting into 1 minus 4a plus 10 over a square plus 7a plus 12. Now I will consider this 4a plus 10 term separately. Let me call this is q because I am going into partial fraction. So I will write 1 minus q. So let me consider this rational function separately. So I will write 4a plus 10 over a plus 3a plus 4 it is. So let me write here 4a plus 10 over the denominator bracket is a plus 3 times a plus 4. I am writing in this manner because of I am considering partial fraction. So now degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. So we can go for it a over a plus 3 plus b over a plus 4. So once I will take LCM, I will be writing 4a plus 10 equal to a times a plus 4 plus b times a plus 3. So I can collect left hand side as it is 10. Now I will collect the coefficient of a. So it will become a a plus 4a plus b a plus 3b or 
a plus b times a plus 4a plus 3b. Now compare both sides the coefficients. Left hand side it, it is 4a plus 10. So coefficient of a I will compare from both sides. So it is 4. Here it is a plus b. And then constant is 10. Constant I will equate with 4a plus 3b. Let's frame equation a plus b equal to 4 and I will write 4a plus 3b equal to 10. So I will multiply this first equation with 3. So if I will multiply this equation with 3, so equation will become I will write 3a plus 3b equal to 12. Take away. So I will change the sign. It will become a equal to. This term will be cancelled out. Minus 2. Now let us put a equal to minus 2. In the first equation a plus b equal to 4. So minus 2 plus b equal to 4. So b we will be having 6. So a is minus 2. b is 6. So let me put over there the q value. This was our q. So I will write p is equal to 1 minus q. So I will be writing p is equal to 1 minus q or 1 minus, let me write in this manner, a was negative 2. So negative 2 over a plus 3 and it was 6 over a plus 4. Now I will write p is equal to, expand the bracket, 1 minus, so it will become plus, minus times minus, 2 over a plus 3, plus 6 over a plus 4. No, it will be minus sign. Let me write here, minus. So this will be minus. Minus times plus is minus. Now I will put back our a value. a was x square. So I will write our p as 1 plus 2 over x square plus 3 minus 6 over x square plus 4. Now let's calculate our i. So i will become integral p dx. So I will be writing integral p is 1 plus 2 over x square plus 3 minus 6 over x square plus 4 times dx. Now integration. I will write i is equal to integration dx plus 2 over 1 plus x square plus 3 dx minus 6 over x square plus 4 dx. So let us put integration sign everywhere. Now one formula I will use. It is 1 over 1 plus x square or general formula is dx over a square plus x square. This is 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus integration constant c we will use. So let me write here i equal to integration dx. We will write directly x plus 2 over, see it is 3, so I will write x square plus root 3 square, integration dx. And in last integration, I would write 6 over x square plus 2 square, dx. Now you can see x square plus a square, so we are ready for that formula, integration dx over a square plus x square. So let me apply here 2 over root 3, 1 over a, tan inverse x over root 3. And here I will be writing 6 over 2, a is 2, tan inverse x over, what I will write, 2, plus integration constant c. So our ultimate and final answer becomes i is equal to x plus 2 over root 3 tan inverse x over root 3 
minus 3 you can cancel 3 so minus 3 tan inverse x over 2 plus integration constant c so this is our final result for this integration i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself